When Michigan State's legend Steve Smith made his mark on their basketball program, he instantly became one of MSU's notable players and Hall of Famer. Smith paved his way to the NBA draft in 1991, where he was selected number five by the Miami Heat. A man who gained everything lost what meant the most to him in the same year when his mom, Claire Bell Smith, passed away from gallbladder cancer. He made a promise to himself to leave a legacy at Michigan State dedicated to the one he loved dearly. Smith made sure his mom names lives forever through the Claire Bell Smith Student Athletic Academic Center. Down to three, Smith. Steve Smith was an All-American star at Parishing High School located in Detroit, Michigan. When it was time for Smith to make a decision on what college basketball program he would commit to, it came down to one consideration, his mom, Claire Bell Smith. I can say this on camera, I was a mama's boy. I didn't want to go too far. And so Michigan State just being, you know, 80 some miles away from my, you know, home, it made it easier. The basketball was great, but also being able to be close to my mom and her get a chance, and my dad and family get a chance to come up and see me. Smith left MSU as the Big Ten champion in 1990, the all-time leading scorer and a two-year first-team All-American. Smith's success led him to the NBA draft, but his mom was not in attendance. Me, my brother, my dad, and my mom at the point was uh, all getting ready. And my mom was like, um, I'm going to let you guys go to the draft. And so it clicked to me, whereas I said, my mom is not coming to the draft, but I could see it on my brother's face that he said, it's time to tell me. My mom had found out she had cancer my senior year, but they didn't want that to be a distraction. I knew she was sick, but I didn't know it was to, to that severity of having cancer. The fairy tale of Smith's fulfilled dream of playing in the NBA instantly took a turn into a nightmare. A knee injury limited him to 48 games in his rookie year. The phone call he dreaded followed quickly after. I went through my rookie season all the way up until January. I had tore my knee up and then around January 20 something, my dad and, and my brother called and said, um, you should come home because my mom had about two or three weeks before she would expire. Coming back, Spending that last eight to nine days with her, it was so special because we just laid in bed, got a chance to talk about, you know, the past, the present and the future, uh, about me having kids, me getting married, me making sure I take care of my brother and dad. Tough, I would say one of the toughest things I've ever done, but I had just fulfilled my dreams of getting drafted, you know, say six months ago and to have my mom leave me, you know, that early, you know, I was selfish. I really didn't want her to go anywhere. During Smith's career, he found a way that his mom could be with him on the court at all times. He took his mother's middle name and engraved a bell-shaped tattoo on his right tricep. Back when I was playing, I used to have my mom's name embroidered on my shoes. And uh, one time, it, it, it wasn't on there, so I went and got the tattoo. And then that's when I started the routine of grabbing my mom's arm and shaking my shoulders to give me a little bit of inspiration from her and just for me. I'm saying thank you to my mom that I still care about you. I'm holding you. You're still in my prayers. You're still in my thoughts. You're still within me. Uh, and it was just something that always, I would say, calmed me and relaxed me, you know, going to the free throw line. But, you know, even more after she passed, just to be able to have her with me. In 1997, Smith made certain his mother would not be forgotten. On Michigan State's ground, Smith donated $2.5 million that would go towards a student center for Spartan athletes that would honor her memory. She gave so much, and when I got a chance uh, to give back to my community, you know, I, the first thing came to my mind after my mom passed was to make sure I get a chance to honor her. And when I honored her with this building, this opportunity came up along with this collaboration with Michigan State. It just fit uh, in academics and giving back. That was my mom, Claire Bell Smith. It was the largest gift from a former athlete back to his alma mater. And then also it was for education. And then obviously to have my mom's building uh, for me, I, I had some input, but a lot of it was put in place and the things that I saw, it was already perfect. And then I think the biggest input was the, the picture I got a chance to choose to have my mom and then obviously uh, some other little minor details. But to me, that was, that was the biggest thing. And then obviously um, having where the kids would feel comfortable. And I think they did a fantastic job. The most impactful part to Steve is that his son, Braden Smith, a current student at Michigan State, is able to walk down the halls that's dedicated to his grandmother. My son gets the chance to use this student academic center, something that, you know, started back in 1997. He was born in 99. Fast forward now to 2018. He's going to school here and having this experience, and he walks into his grandmother's building. 
Unfortunately, the timeline of Claire Smith's death and Braden Smith's birth did not align for them to meet each other, but the mural in the building allows Braden to get a glimpse of who she was. It's kind of surreal that he gets a chance to walk just from the dorm next door. He didn't get a chance to meet my mom, and that's the one thing I would have loved for her to get a chance to meet my two kids and my wife. Every time Steve Smith is in Detroit, he takes a ride to Michigan State to visit his mom's building. The view of Claire Smith's mural completes the trip. I would tell you that my most special times is sometimes I come here at night and when his, his light is shining on his mural, I'll get a chance to park my car right out there. And, and sometimes I don't even come in, I just peek through the window and understand is that um, my mom has watched over me. Steve Smith is more than just the game of basketball. He continues to leave a legacy of being a community ambassador who serves and gives back to others. Smith awards high achieving students from his former high school recognized as the Steve Smith Perishing High MSU Scholarship for Academic Achievement. He provides the recipients $13,000 per academic year. This scholarship is intended to help students further their education and achieve their professional goals without financial burden.